Meghan Markle has been branded a figure of fun in the U.S. after taking on the Queen, a commentator has claimed. Columnist and novelist Celia Walden claimed the Duchess of Sussex made the crucial misstep of forgetting how much Americans love the Queen. Ms. Walden, who is married to broadcaster Piers Morgan, said anyone who is deemed to have affronted the Queen is just not going to go down well. She's just a figure of fun and the crucial misstep she made is forgetting that the whole of the U.S. love the Queen. So, anyone who is deemed to have affronted the Queen, or behaved badly in that regard, is just not going to go down well. Ms. Walden also hit out at Meghan's bid to trademark the word archetypes after announcing it will be the name of her first Spotify podcast series. The columnist said, this has just been unanimously agreed that it's a preposterous thing to do. In fact, the only thing she should be trademarking is a few words, arrogant, entitled and preposterous because all of those things are uniquely her. This is just so archetypal of her narcissism, the idea that you can own a word. Meghan and Harry are living in California after quitting royal duties in 2020. The couple have a mansion in Montecito where they are based with their two children Archie and Lilibet. The Sussexes quit as working royals in March 2020 for new lives of personal and financial freedom across the pond. They made a series of bombshell claims about the monarchy in their Oprah Winfrey interview in March 2021. Meanwhile, Harry is set to release his tell-all memoir later this year. Former actress Meghan unveiled her Archetypes podcast series about female stereotypes last month. In the series, she vows to investigate labels that try to hold women back. Meghan will speak to historians, experts and women who have experienced being typecast for the podcast. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's emotional interview with Oprah Winfrey has caught everyone's attention and stunned viewers with the bombshell revelations about the British royal family, ranging from mental health issues to accusations of racism against their son, Archie. The interview has also further polarized both the supporters and haters of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. So much so that the internet is chock full of passionate comments praising and denouncing the two-hour special. Some have been sharing their views in an easily digestible format that the internet is more used to short reactions and memes. Board Panda has collected some of the most interesting reactions for you to look through, dear readers. Make sure you upvote the ones you agree with as you scroll down. And we know that the topic is sensitive, dear pandas, so remember to be civil to those that share a different point of view than yours in the comments. Mike Sington, an LA-based entertainment and celebrity expert, told Board Panda that Prince Harry and Meghan will be even more welcome in the United States now that the interview has aired. The interview made them real people which allowed us to see their vulnerabilities. Your heart couldn't help but break for them. And Meghan is an American, so for her, she's returning home.